building boundaries with mom. Mother's Day is tomorrow. Fittingly, I had an email that came in from somebody who we worked on a few things last year and here we are again. It's building, it takes time. So let's get into this email. Roll it. Welcome back to another video where today we're talking about these boundaries and you know, I like boundaries, they're good, they're healthy. And in this video, I just wanted to touch base on how we look at things and how we should be striving to look at things with boundaries. This comes from an email from somebody who we worked on growth with the relationship they had with their mother last year. And they found themselves coming up to an impasse on everything because life situation occurred again and all of a sudden they went back and rewinded to where they were before all the progress and the growth was made. Being that it's Mother's Day, that emotion is heightened. Specifically with this email, in this moment, in time, she's pregnant too and she's kind of like feeling that motherly moment of Mother's Day and she wants to make sure things start moving in the right direction. So if this is your first time here, hit a subscribe and hit a like if you like the video and if you want to get a daily motivational thought that will get you thinking in the right direction. Fittingly, whenever we have Mother's Day, Father's Day, I get a lot of emails about those relationships and what has occurred in the past and how to, you know, fix them or let them be. It's always a problematic scenario and it comes back to the fundamentals of regular relationships. So this email comes from somebody who was in a bad situation with their mom, the relationship wasn't strong enough and they really wanted to have a strong relationship but their life situations weren't, uh, how do we say, uh, they had picked the wrong things to do with their lives and the mom never agreed with it. Naturally, after the big fights, the mom and the daughter finally pulled apart and they weren't talking for a long, long time. Fast forward, as things were starting to build and the relationship started to grow again, new situations started to arise and they went right back to where they started. And this is a common thing that we deal with it's uh, I think everybody goes through it you you know your parents are there for you and they always need to speak their mind they want the best for you the communication doesn't come across in the best way social and cultural norms take into effect and the relationships aren't the way they should be in fact until you get older you don't really get that strong relationship you once had with your parents when you were younger and this is really because young people start to grow and they see the world a little bit different depending on what the environment is giving, what society is showing and they want to find their own way, they want to grow their own values, they want to see the world as they see it not as their parents say they should see it. Here's the email, hi Nikos, we had a long chat regarding my mom and my relationship last year. You were smart to say that I should build the relationship again. If you remember, it was a big fight due to my life choices and you were definitely right that things would get better if I recognized the boundaries and what sets us off. Fast forward, it has been three months and we got back into it again now that I'm pregnant. She got, in, she got two in my face all the time. I've tried, but I feel I keep facing a dead end. I don't want to pull away, but I'm frustrated. What else can I do? And here we go, boundaries. This comes back to boundaries. And you're trying to agree, to keep growing, you would say, in the way you were growing before, but you put the boundaries in based on the situations that were happening before. We now have new boundaries to establish and it's gonna take time. Your mom is thinking about it from a perspective of, I'm mom, I know best, you're pregnant, I've been pregnant, you're my baby, that's your baby, I'm gonna make sure you got everything you need and you kind of want to go your route. These boundaries will help you and you just need to go back to what we worked on and start restructuring everything so that those boundaries are there. If you can recall, we talked about the triggers and realizing what really sets you off. We talked about how much time you should be spending at the beginning and how that time should grow to that moment where you realize, okay, this is enough time with mom. And of course, these emotions that you have are gonna change. The emotions are changing drastically because you're pregnant. Hormones are totally 
different than what you've experienced before. Now, I'm a man and I will never experience this, but when we have these conversations with women that are going through these life changes, it's all about recognizing the changes, understanding how we're gonna adapt to these changes, and make sure that we're doing the things that are best for us. If you believe that stepping back and not carrying forward with the growth with your mom, then maybe it's the best thing. However, being that you have experienced all this growth and it's something that you really want and I see it, the goal now is to back up again, look at all these changes that are occurring, really focus on what it is that you need to create as a boundary with your mother, express this with her so she knows, so that it doesn't get to the point where you two are fighting, where you two are get going at it with each other because your mom is trying to tell you what's best and you're trying to tell her that you know what's best. The idea here is that when you create these boundaries, the trigger is there, you're able to recognize it, you're able to express it with her, you're able to step back from this current moment where the anger is about to shoot up sky high and really focus on doing what's best for you at that moment. This allows you to come back to the relationship the next time you go to see her so that there's a constructive process there where growth is being established. Mom's mom, this is what she's gonna do and especially now, all that stuff that's occurred, I think that's just in the toilet. She's like sky high happy and all she wants to do is help you. She wants to see the best for you and really she wants to make sure that you go through everything that's positive in your pregnancy and in raising your child so that you don't experience the stuff that she probably had negative experiences with. The idea here is that your mom isn't gonna be able to communicate this properly. She won't. And of course in a situation in the last three months, your communication level has gone down and the emotional side has taken over. And really it's up to you to step back and address this so that emotions can all calm down, take control of the boundaries that you want to establish, make them present in the moment with her so that she recognizes it at game time and then express it so it's a growth development in the same way you did it last time. The system is the same. I'll do a whole video again on building these boundaries, but the idea comes down to the same principle. Recognize the boundary you want to build, communicate that boundary, give the appropriate space that will see this boundary grow. And once the space and the time elapses and you see growth happening, the other person will recognize that this is a good thing to see. And once again, you'll start growing this relationship to where it would have continued before you got pregnant. Take some time, think about this. I will be responding to you with a more in-depth, detailed email that can really give you some more thoughts on these boundaries and what direction to take. Remember that it's Mother's Day and just because it's Mother's Day doesn't mean you have to spend the whole day with her. You just have to spend some quality time with her so that she feels that appreciation. And being in a situation you found yourself now where you want to start working on the relationship again, Mother's Day is probably the best day to do that. This is Nikos Rentas, Metasproach.com. If you like the video, hit a like, hit subscribe, and of course, leave a comment. Let me know the kind of things that you've been thinking about leading up to Mother's Day if you're in that kind of situation where there's a bind and what are the kind of things you're doing for your mom.